crisis, the supply chain crisis. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki speaking out on that issue ahead of today's meeting to address that crunch. Listen to this. I'll get your reaction. The supply chain bottlenecks range industry to industry, but we certainly know addressing um, that those bottlenecks at ports uh, could help uh, address what we see in, in many industries across the country. And frankly, our leading people uh, who are prepared for Christmas, uh, whatever they may celebrate, uh, birthdays, um, to uh, to order goods and get them to people's homes. The president has the the supply chain task force has been working around the clock for months and months months now to address a range of different issues that we see in the supply chain. Jen Psaki said President Biden has been working on this issue since he became president. Rebecca, your thoughts. Then why? And so he well, did no good. He didn't do anything to fix it because we're, we're in a pickle. Right, right. So I'm thinking, OK, so what actually have they actually done? I love these task force that actually promulgate nothing and do nothing. You know, they have some zero tolerance policies that are really impacting. I mean, they, when you shut down an entire port, one of the largest ports in the world in China, because you have one positive corona test, you know, and that's the protocol that we're using when we know we've been in a pandemic and we have goods that we need. We have increased demand because of last year. And now we have Christmas season coming up. You know, I, last month there were some 16 truckloads for every one truck that even could get the stuff off of. So it's not just supply chain sake. And when they can get, you know, the ships unloaded, you still need, you need the trucks. So I understand that this administration is going to talk to Walmart, FedEx, and UPS and announce that they're really going to go to a 24-7 work schedule to really start bringing some goods in. You have companies that are that are flying goods in, which is nothing, that's never happened before. I've never seen that before. That's happening. But yes, I mean, absolutely be honest with the American people and tell them if you want a decent Christmas and you're expecting to have a normal or a better Christmas than the pandemic last year, you need need to order these things now and pray that you're going to get them and if not find alternative things i mean i was already asking my children for santa's list because i was i, I was telling them you know the goods to santa this year in the north pole are being delayed so we've really got to get the letter to santa early and i suggest everybody does that because this is a crisis of what we're going to have on our shelves and this administration in my opinion hasn't done anything nearly enough and let's start with just the basic protocols you know a zero tolerance right. policy uh is really difficult when you're testing everybody incessantly um and and we do have people that are that are vaccinated that have breakthrough cases so it's it's a really difficult policy to administer in the middle of a pandemic recovery and who gets screwed over in all of this small businesses yet again That's right they got screwed over during the pandemic with the shutdowns when the large retailers were allowed to stay open and continue to operate small businesses 51 percent are having they have open job openings that they can't fill and this is the nail in many coffins.